first, a survey has revealed that we Brits spend a year of our lives having a lion. The average person slips back under the duvet for 19 minutes on a weekday morning and 90 minutes at the weekends. But how adept are we at trying to get that elusive lion, ladies, or, or do we? I, not someone who lies in, and I expect everyone else to do exactly what I do, and that's get up. And if they don't, I stomp around the house till they do. <laughs> <laughs> I am trouble. Look, my teenage daughter, I let her sleep, but actually she's 20 in September, so she'll be up like everybody else. But I make a noise, I rattle around the house. Time to get up at one, well, you know, it's not that it's that early, but a lion is 8 o'clock, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was that's 8 o'clock, get up. Yes. Yes, it's quite enough sleep for anyone. Yeah, I mean, I agree. basically, I use bed as a sort of another table and chair. I sit in bed and do my notes and work, you know. It's just another place to sit, sleep, and then get up from. Lying in doesn't happen. No, I it agree. Need I to. agree. Life's too short. Absolutely. If the sun's I mean, up, you should less sleep the older you get. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that far. You have off. little power naps. No, I, no, no I, I still. Like, I do love a power nap, actually. See? But that's not lying in, that? is it? No, it's no. not. You're very good at power napping. Anywhere. Oh, I Arlene and I have shared a dressing room, and she can drop like that. Boom, and wake up. You you're I'll talking to her, you turn around, you she's just under a coat on a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. You get up early, don't you? I do. I always get up early. I love getting up early. It's just, it's a really great time of the day. And I think, right, if you go, if you're in your bed for seven or eight hours a night, mm -hmm. I'd, I've been in there long enough. I don't want to be in there. And yet, when I was a teenager, a bit like your daughter, yeah. I would get up at, like, five six o'clock in the evening and go straight <laughs> yeah, out yeah, again straight but out just again. sleep the whole time and you know what a waste of time but my lion my line starts the night before because I prefer to go to bed early and watch TV and and How read or talk or well you know sometimes half eight nine o'clock <gasps> It's a nice day. place to be at night. It's nice watching telly oh, in bed. Oh, I'm so the opposite. Not in the summer, but... I'm so the opposite. We're a real nighttime family, so I don't go to bed before midnight. I mean, if I go to bed before midnight, that's an early night. That's but so I do late. the school, and so I'm up at half seven, like, Monday to Friday, and then at the weekends, um, a lion to me is, like, up anything up to ten o'clock. Ten o'clock's great, because you haven't wasted your whole life in bed. It's not too early, it's not too late. So I think ten o'clock's quite a good lion. Um, but I have to say, I love it, you see, because all my family sleep forever. So, and I like, I'd never stomp around because I don't want them to get up because then they're all at me. <laughs> so I like, I, try, I was in my garden yesterday. I thought, beautiful day, they're all in bed. I'm going out, a little book. And I'm lying there and I hear, <whistles> I went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, I didn't know my neighbour fancied me. <laughs> anyway, it was his parrot. <laughs> Twitter and I'm all about, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> okay.